Hi there, Spectre here and welcome back to Star Trek Online and we are back on the Romulans. Last time we did the Helix, but where we are still at right now and today we are going to continue the storyline with Crossroads at Crateris. The Remans retreated to the remote Crateris system in the Terminal Times after Shinzon's rebellion. Gain their trust and you will gain a new ally. Many Remans settled on Crateras after the fallout from Shinzon's rebellion. While they were safe from the destruction of Romulus and Remus, Crateras is a bleak world with little in the way of habitable land. There are ample mineral deposits, which the Remans mine and sell for food and other necessities, but their lives there are harsh and unforgiving. Anyone who could survive on Crateras for as long as the Remans have has strength. We could use that strength in our search for a homeworld, and I know the Remans have no love for the tall Shi'ar. Go to Crateras, talk to the Remans, show them we are sincere and that we need their support. All right, and we are going to get some experience, expertise, and some gear for this, and we actually are going to get a bridge officer, which is nice, and some dilithium. Greetings, I have new orders for you. Yeah, shut up. Alright, so let's go to Crateris. I have no idea where the heck that is. Oh, right there. I can't transwarp there, I guess. No, I can't. So, yeah. I hope this is not going to take long. I really hope so. So yeah, there we are at Crateras 2, and uh, I actually ended up cutting that little traveling part out since I didn't have that much to tell. Actually, I didn't have anything to tell. So, here we go, crossroads at Crateras. Let's meet the Remans and get them to join our side. That would be good. If it ever wants to load, that is. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Would be kind of nice. There we go. Good stuff. It probably needs to patch a few things. Yes, there we are. The Tall Shi'ar are approaching Crateras, and they've already engaged a group of Riemann vessels in orbit. The Remans are sending out a general distress call. We have to help them. All right. Hail them, Kev. All right. Open a channel to the Decimus. The Decimus is too heavily damaged. They can't respond to our hails. It won't last much longer if we don't help them. Alright, power to weapons. Let's take these tall CR dogs down. We'll follow your attack vector and provide support fire. Copy that. Kaboom! So, let's get in range and get shooting. Yeah, I'll take that, boy. That's one down. There goes number two. Number three down. Let's keep it going. Let's use our uh, special ability on this guy. Let's do it. And that one's down.
Let's reinforce them. Looking good. And heal them. Thank you for your assistance. We're continuing emergency repairs, but most of our major systems are offline. The Talshiar sent detachments to the surface, and our colony is not responding to hails. With our transporters down and shuttle bay damaged, I cannot send a security team to investigate. The Talshiar have never been so bold. They plan to destroy your colony. How can you be so certain? It doesn't make sense. They've left us alone for years. What would they gain by destroying our home? We keep to ourselves if we do not challenge the Tal Shiar. With all due respect, we've seen this before. The Tal Shiar destroyed our colony on Viranat without warning. If we don't get your people off Craterus immediately, they'll be defenseless when the invasion force arrives. Tovan is telling the truth. The invasion force. We aren't in any position to begin an evacuation. The head of our fleet, Oversec, and most of our ships are on maneuvers out of the system. They can't possibly return in time. Until we re-establish communication with the colony, our priority must be to protect the people on the surface. Find Zedan. He will help you. He resides near the communication tower on the outskirts of the colony. If we re-establish communication, then we can formulate a plan. Alright, we'll find him. Let's go. And get... Kev and Setra with us. Very good. Always nice nice to have our bridge officers. Wow, well, screwing up there. Sorry. So let's save the colony. Let's save the day for the Remans. There we go. The dens to the northwest, near a force field. If planetary communications are disabled, you'll need his help to bring the transmitter back online. We'll do our best to keep more Tal Shar from beaming down, but I can't promise we'll be able to stop them. Got it. So let's find Sedan. Uh-oh, enemies. Ilachi. Not good. Yep, you're down. Wow, there are what quite are a lot of them. Things? They don't look Romulan to me. That's because they aren't. Why are the Tall Shiar doing this? Um, because they are savages? Maybe, just a guess. That got him. More enemies. There you go, you're down. Look, Sedan. Thank you, stranger. I don't understand why this is happening. You're obviously not with the Tal Shiar. Why are you here? What do you want? Commander Kai, good. Follow me and then explain what's going on. We should get inside the security field before more Tal Shiar arrive. Right behind ya. Follow me. Hey, there's Pharaoh. All right, let's speak to Sudan. We need to know more. It's clear that our colony is under attack, but why are the Tall Shar doing this? Why attack Craterus? What are they after? It's an invasion. They are taking Craterus. There's no reason for the Tall Shiar to attack Craterus. 
We've been an established colony for over 23 years. We were given permission to settle here by Donatra. Why would the Tal Shiar attack a colony of their own people? They didn't give a reason when they destroyed our colony on Farinet. So the rumors are true. I told you, Father. The Tal Shiar have declared war on our people. They're going to kill us. They seem more interested in abducting people. It doesn't make any sense. We aren't a threat to the Tal Shiar. What do they have to gain? They can't do this without anyone noticing. Worry about that later. We need to evacuate now. Evacuate? We must inform the council. Who is going to listen to my order to evacuate? Obasek isn't here. He left Kai in charge. Why doesn't he give the order to evacuate? Well, the Toshiar knocked out his communications. That explains a lot. When we couldn't reach anyone, Slamek said he was going to check on the transmitter. He hasn't come back yet. We should find him and see if we can get communications back online. Is there any other way to warn the rest of the colony? Without the transmitter, we'll have to start contacting colonists individually. The word will spread, but it will take some time. Obviously something is going on, but I'm not the one to order an evacuation. The fleet or the council should make that determination. Alright, start contacting everyone you can. We'll check on the transmitter. You'll need help. If you're going out to the transmitter, I'm going with you. Maybe we can find Slamek there. Well, we appreciate the help. Farrell, you should stay here. Let these people handle this. We don't know the whole story yet. We need more information. We need to know what the Tal Shar want. At least stay behind the security field until we hear from the council. Either way, we need to go. Father, you can see what the Tal Shiar have done. These people need my help to get the transmitter working again. We'll take some weapons and armor before we leave. Don't worry, I can handle myself. Well, let's go. Take weapon or armor. Wait a second, I'm going to equip that first. Oh, I see that I have some more two gear. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Pulse wave, full auto. Not my type of weapons. Well, that's not really a problem. Let's get two from this armor and uh, the full auto rifle. And let's get Satra the pulse wave assault in this armor. Good. Upgrading my gear. Good. This is your character. Shut Here up. You can see your equipped items and devices. So let's go and get to the transmitter. Yep, you're going down. Got another shield. Very nice, another one down. Whoops, there's a drone. Uh oh. But I didn't shoot those shuttles. We're gonna need a new plan. Yeah, Captain Obvious over there. <laughs> of course we need a new plan. Vera, you found me before those things did. I tried to repair the transmitter, but it was pointless. As you can see, the controls are completely destroyed. But it looks like you found some new friends. Can we bypass the transmitter controls? Didn't you hear me? The controls are destroyed. The transmitter is worthless. Yeah, I heard you. Islamic, you're not helping. What if we set up a bypass relay? If it works, we might be able to control the transmitter dish from Zedent's shuttle, or even our secondary console at home. Yeah, that might work. We can also try my tricorder. It's possible, but I don't think it would work. Well, we need to do something, Slamek. Slamek! 
try to set up a bypass relay for the control. If you can get it working, then we'll head back to my father and see if we can access the transmitter from there. We'll cover you. Alright, let's protect him. By taking these things down. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. And boom. You little suicide bombers. Where are those things coming from? Uh, your answer is as good as mine, uh, dear. Don't ask questions I don't have the answer to. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, I think you sabotaged it, you I moron. Told you it probably wouldn't work. Let me try to contact Kai. That's not a good sign. We should go back to my father and see if he's heard any news. Agreed, everyone, follow me. We gotta get out of here now. Uh oh. That's the same ship that destroyed our what colony. Bilachi. We don't know. It attacked our colony on Viranet. Oops. Got stuck there on the lamp. And now they're attacking here. We need to warn other colonies. It's one good looking Believe shit though. Not, that's what we're trying to do. We need to repair the primary transfer. I said the primary transfer relay and gathered as many neighbors as we could. I'm glad you found some. Well, we need to evacuate immediately. I'm not gonna argue. Our security field is down and the Tal Shar are attacking the colony. Hopefully everyone who hasn't already heard the message will realize what's happening in the factory. There are more people on the outskirts of town. If I can get them in, if I can get to them in the shuttle, I may be able to get them to safety. Yep. I may be able to get them to safely. Oh, well, that's his text, I'm sorry. We can beam everyone here up to our ship. Understood. Please, take Feral with you. I'll take Slamak with me to help scan for survivors. We'll rendezvous in orbit. Father, I should go with you. It took me weeks to repair the shuttle drive system. If something goes wrong, you'll need me there. You'll be safe on their ship. Slamak can help me if we run into trouble. I'll broadcast the coordinates to every shuttle within range once we're in the air. Now go. We need to look for survivors. All right, let's beam up. Let's get you to a transporter site. Oh wait, they already transported. Never mind. We need to get Sedan and Slamic to a shuttle probably. Yeah. Get going, guys. Time is a luxury we cannot afford. All right, let's beam up. We're done here. Where there is life, there is hope. Sir, the Romulan civilians are safely aboard. If you've done everything you came down there, you, you can down there. Oh, if you, let me start over. If you've done everything you can down there, we could use your help back up here. More Tal Shiar ships are entering the system by the minute, and I don't think the Decimus can hold them off for long. Well, let's go. Sorry for that mess up there. Didn't know what was going on in my head. My brain probably the farted. The has engaged the Tal Shiar and is forming a wedge so we can get the shuttles to the beacon. The shuttles will be relying on us for protection. Without our help, they'll never make it out of here. Zaden's shuttle was one of the ones that made it to the ship. He's hailing us. 
Open a chow. We're in position and ready to make a run for the beacon. Is my daughter safe? She's aboard. She'll be safe. I'm making myself useful. The singularity core on this ship is practically an antique. I'm keeping an eye on the power levels to make sure we don't blow apart in combat. Don't forget to put all the shuttle's power into the shields. Don't worry, my child. It was the first thing Slamak did. When we reach the beacon, we'll await the signal to warp to the rendezvous point. Once we're all safe, you can transfer back to the shuttle. Oh, let's set a course. Alright, I have to defeat enemy warbirds. Look at that fleet. Scimitar. Wow. That's a huge fleet. Luckily, I don't have to engage that one. But let's take down these guys. You're down. And another one gone. Good. Next. Let's keep it on going. Actually, see, I need to do my hop bar on this one. Protect the shuttles. Will do. Will do. So yeah, this might be something I do in between the next episode and this one. So I have a good hop bar here instead of this mess. Would be nice. Come on, go down already. That's for all the bunkers. There we go. That's 75% down. Good. Very good. That's very good. Oh, we have a mysterious ship. Well, I already know what that is, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You already know that's the Alarchy. Come on, go boom! There you go. All ships fall into formation. What a strange thing. But we have seen similar ships before. They're emitting some sort of passive scanning field. We cannot get a weapons lock, and our singularity core power levels are fluctuated. I'm noticing the same power level variation. The field is definitely emanating from the enemy vessel. If I tap into the beacon's control, I may be able to send a high frequency proton burst that should disrupt the field long enough to get a weapons lock. Alright, fire the burst on my mark. Let's do it. Uh oh. That does not sound good. Kaboom! Good. Awesome. Awesome. Hells and then shuttle. Nothing. So then Slamek? I've scanned the shuttles, sir. They've taken everyone. Everyone. Even my 
How? Did we miss something? Logs show that a cruiser warped in during the fight with the battleship, stayed at long range, and then decloaked briefly. They warped away less than a minute later. Ugh, they must have taken the colonists from the shuttles while we were in combat. I'm sorry, Farrell. We have to go after them. We need to track their trajectory and follow them. They could still be alive, and we can catch up if we hurry. Telephone, do we have any data on their heading? Nothing. There was too much interference from the battleship. I wish I had better news, but we have more pressing matters. The Decimus is hailing us, and we need to get out of this system while we still can. On screen. We're aware of the situation, but we have set a course for the rendezvous point immediately. There are other Remans there who will need our protection. After we regroup, we will have time to fully understand what has happened here, and to mourn our losses. Join the Tons fleet, we're stronger together. We appreciate the offer, but that isn't my call to make. I'll relay your offer to Obisek and the rest of the fleet. But for now, I think it would be best if we go our separate ways. When we understand more about what the Tal Shiar are after, perhaps that will change. Thank you for your help. I know you tried your best. Good luck, Commander. I don't need anyone's permission. I'm coming with you and we're going to find my father. In the meantime, if you expect to keep a ship this old from blowing apart at the seams, you're going to need an engineer. Good thing I'm here. Welcome aboard. I think we've done everything we can here. We should report what happened to Tamer. We can leave whenever you're ready. Well, let's leave the system. Let's go! So yeah, that's actually it for Crossroads at Craterets. Craterets, sorry. We will reach out to the Remans, but it will be difficult to get over centuries of mistrust and abuse. Perhaps if this Obasek is willing to speak to us directly, it might make a difference. I know you did your best to help them, and that the attack could not have been anticipated. I'm very concerned about this sabotage you reported, however, and that the culprit was never found. The Remans may very well have a Tal Shiar operative in their midst. We will not win every battle, but we will win the war. Count on that. Jolan True. Jolan True. And we got all this magnificent stuff. Awesome. Greetings. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We get Veril as our engineer, which is good. Awesome. And we're level 8. Which is good. And that's actually it for this episode. Now if you did like it. Even though I had a lot of screw ups. Then please smash that like button. That would be very much appreciated. And if you don't want to miss out on the next episode. Which will be Gasco Blues. Then please consider subscribing. And get those notifications on. And you can also follow me on Facebook. Where you can stay up to date. On the latest updates of this channel. The link will be in the description below. And by the way, if you have any feedback, comments, or whatever, you can leave it in the comments below. Now that's it for this time. I thank you very much for watching. This is Spectre signing off. See you next time.